Hey, what's up, guys? It's your girl, Nina Jane. I'm back again with another makeup tutorial. This tutorial here is inspired by Jackie Aina. Um, she had did a look similar to this, and I have no idea where that video went to even show you guys a reference. So, pretty much, this is all from memory, so I hope that I did good on this. Let me know what you guys think. Um, For me, personally, it's like 10.30 a.m., so this is vampy as hell for 10.30 a.m. So... Pretty much, I hope you guys like this look. If you guys want to see more content like this, make sure that you are subscribed to me and make sure that my notification bells are on for you so you guys can keep up with all of my updates. And also, if you like this look, please give me a thumbs up. And let's just get straight into the video. So, my face is actually feeling a little dry. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go... I'm going to just prep my face with this e.l.f. Prep and Hydrate Balm. It's actually very good for if you have um, dry skin and such. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with Rimmel London Stay Matte. It's a little dirty, but Stay Matte um, Primer. This is the primer that I actually use every day. It's such a good matte primer. Okay, I'm gonna set my primer with this J Cat Beauty Powder. Um, it's in the color Chestnut. It's the Lux Pro Powder. I'm gonna put extra powder in the areas where I get oily the most, but the whole face is gonna be set, really. And then like by my nose, I'm pushing it into like the little side areas, like right here and like right here. Okay, so for foundation, I'm actually gonna use this e.l.f. foundation. I can't, I don't even, it's an oil-free foundation. And this is in the color Ebony, which is too dark for me. And then this is a, um, this one is a matte foundation. And then the next foundation, um, pretty much it's a dewy foundation. This is their aqua, what is it? It's like an aqua base foundation. And it's in the color Dark Deep. Um, wow, I look really cute. Uh, I'm not liking how this foundation, <laughs> I mean, not foundation, this powder is looking right now. But, um, yeah, this is in the color Dark Deep. Which, I personally don't feel like it's a dark deep. I feel like it's more of a medium dark. And this is actually what kills me with brands, is that they will say something is dark deep. And... Because Dark Deep, to me, I feel like it's more my skin tone to Nima Tang's skin tone. Like, oh, this is how you take it out. Well, actually, no, not Dark Deep. I feel like my skin tone would be, like, Dark Deep, and then hers would be, like, rich. Because, to me, this is more of a medium dark. But, I don't know. So, I'm just going to mix this. Th yeah, that's too light. Look at this. <laughs> Hold on, let me turn down the brightness so you can see. I don't know if you can like see it correctly, but this I feel like this is too this is too light to call dark deep, in my opinion. And pretty much, like, with this, I gotta work fast because I have set the primer. Okay, this starting to look a little gray-ish. Like, I don't know, it looks good on camera, though, like... Mm. 
Like, I don't hate it, but I don't love it either. Okay, so pretty much, um, I can't, I couldn't find my dip brow, so I'm just gonna use, uh, my fancy eyebrow designer in black. Not even gonna lie, like, my brow, my brows have been literally coming out real nice lately. So I may or may not need to carve it out. No, I might have to carve out the bottom, though. Did this just oxidize? Wait. Mm. Next, uh, I'm going to use this Morphe M705 brush. And I'm also going to use this, this is not an e.l.f. tutorial by the way, but I'm going to use this um, e.l.f. foundation stick in the color caramel. And I'm just going to use that to carve out under my brows. Like, I actually really like this brush. Bretman Rock actually, um, this brush is actually included in Bretman Rock's, um, favorite brushes collection that he did with Morphe recently. This brush is actually so bomb. I don't know if you guys, but you probably see it better on my skin tone. I look, did this oxidize? Or is the brightness just too low? Like, y'all, I I look extra, I mean, ain't nothing wrong with looking extra dark, but I'm like, I look really dark, like, and I look, yo, I don't, I don't know if I like this, because I really don't know how I feel about this, because, like, usually I am not this dark, and to me, I'm kind of looking like I am doing blackface, and I don't, I, I don't know how to feel about this. I took it to my penthouse and I freaked it. I haven't made my mind up, should I keep it? I got big dogs, that is, it ain't no secret. So, anyway. So, pretty much the look that she had, it looked like some of the colors that she used was from here. So, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, prism palette. and see and see what i could get i'm literally doing all of this from memory i'm gonna go in with this big fluffy brush here and i'm gonna go into i want to say eden which is this <laughs> which is this color right here i'm gonna use that as a transition shade Okay, and to give this more, I don't know, to make this pop more, I'm actually going to put Saturn, which is this color right here. It's more of an orangey color, and, like, her base color was more orange, but, like, it was, like, an orange-purple look. So, her base purple was a little dark so I'm gonna go into the 35B palette by Morphe and I'm gonna take this purple right here and I'm gonna use this pencil brush um it's a pro makeup crease brush by Jcat Beauty and I'm pretty much gonna kind of set this up for a halo Y, but not do a halo Y if that makes sense Okay, and then next I'm gonna take a brush that looks like this. And I'm gonna go back into that same purple color and pretty much just pack it on. I make sure that no side. Still. Bad 
And I'm gonna use that same color that I had used before and just kind of like blend this out a little bit. I feel like I went too high. And then to darken this up a little bit, I'm actually gonna go into this black right here. Well, I'm just gonna like lightly tap the black. So next after that, I'm actually, I'm actually gonna use the same brush. And then I'm gonna go back into the Prism palette and I'm gonna wet the brush with this Urban Decay Quick Fix Primer. You can, re you can really use anything. You could wet the brush with some water, Fix Plus. Um, I don't really think it matters. And I'm gonna go into this color named Osiris. And, okay, right, I'm pretty much gonna put this on like the inner part here, like so. And then, ooh, that quick, what is it? That quick fix smell really good though. Um, I'm gonna put it like on the outer. And then after that, I'm gonna go into the color dimension, which is right here, and put that like right in the middle. Now for concealer, I'm using the Edge Rewind by Maybelline in the color Hazelnut. I'm about the last shade, but I'm not sure. If this will be too dark for me. I got like my concealer on um, pretty bright, so mm. <clears throat> I should think this will be okay. I actually like the sponge tip. To just clean this up a little bit, I'm just taking this brush right here. Kind of like lining it because I don't have any tape. This concealer don't look too bad, honestly speaking. Like, I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. Would I like to go a little bit? Maybe I should have went and got the, um the shade before this one but you know it's really not that bad like I'm, I'm not mad at it I'm mad at it I'm just gonna like put some purple like, underneath that usually I'm just gonna put like the black on like the outer third to like match up with this color here There we go. Okay, so then for mascara, I'm actually gonna use the, this. This is the Maybelline Voluminous Superstar X Fiber. And I'm gonna use the um, side one. I feel like this is a little bit much for like earlier than 10 p.m. But oh. for contour, as usual, I'm not gonna do a cream contour. I'm just gonna do like a straight powder contour, and I'm gonna use the douche palette. It's not a it's not a contour palette. 
It's actually an eyeshadow palette, but I like to use the um this chocolate brown color in here. I hope you feel like I ruined this palette a little bit because like I use this color, the chocolate color so much, and like all of the other colors kind of have this brown overcast over it. So now it's just like, ugh. It's such a good brown to contour with. Like I'm not mad. Like oh, this cheek cut. Wait. <laughs> I'm gonna have to start using powder brushes. Wait. <laughs> that cheek is cut, sis. Hold up. Real nice. Nicely done. I'm gonna do these lashes. I actually had them like sitting around in my room for a while. And I really have no idea where I even got these lashes from. So they look like this so I'm gonna go off camera do my lashes and I'm gonna be right back and I'm also gonna take like a lip brush and kind of like contour my nose a little Okay, I'm just gonna use this powder, the Fit Me powder in 40 deep. What is it, 40 deep? 40 dark. I'm just gonna like cut the cheek. Um, I'm actually gonna take this blush i actually had it for like a good minute now but like i just wanted to try it it's the um oh it's the um anastasia belly hills um blush kit and gradient it's actually very cute i like the colors and whatnot And I'm gonna take, okay, hmm. I'm gonna take like this brown color, you can see it. I'm gonna take like this brownish kind of color. And you know, just. I kind of put it like a step up above my contour so that it could, so that like when I blend it, it just kind of like blends into it. It don't look bad. Um, a dupe for this, if you are following along, why is it so bright? A dupe for this is actually the Juvia's Place Volume 1 palette, which I do have, but I just wanted to try this out. All right, and for a highlight, of course, jacket, 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 jacket. All right. So, pretty much for highlight, of course, I'm gonna use the LeBrons. And also, I also found dupes for LeBrons and La Peach. Um, Sephora, Sephora brand actually has these highlighters called the Golden Hour. And I have the Golden Hour in 02 Dawn, not sure if you can see that, and 03 High Noon. I'm actually going to show you these. Alright. So I have both LeBron's and Le Peach here. And I feel like the Sephora ones are definitely kind of similar in color. Now, okay. So I have LeBron's, Le Peach, Dawn, and High Noon. Okay. I feel like High Noon, my bad. High Noon is a good dupe for LeBron's. So, and also, um, the Sephora ones retail for like $16, whereas Artist is Whore, um, highlighters usually run for like 28. So if you are, you know, balling on a budget, or, you know, a college student following this video, then definitely I would say like, just to save money, get the Sephora one. And then when you're ready, um, get the Jackie Aina one. Um, I can't remember if they're limited edition or not, but 
if they are limited edition and they're completely sold out, it's gone forever. This is definitely a good dupe and you will still get the same look. Um, well, the same feel, honestly. So pretty much for this video, I'm actually going to use LeBron's just because it's Jackie, you know. This stuff is intense, so... Do you not see that? Like, you don't see that little dot? Okay, I'm going to take this little Sephora brush right here. This is a better brush. Do you have this how like there's something serious? <laughs> I feel like I paid my bills on time. I feel like I'm gonna get a 4.0 GPA this semester. I feel like God has literally slapped me in the face and said, Hey, how you doing? Like A little definitely goes along with, with this highlighter, which I appreciate. Because the amount I used was literally the residue that was in the cap. So, yeah, a little definitely goes a long way. If, like, honestly speaking, if it doesn't have in a corner highlight, it's literally not a jacket on the look. So, I'm just going to use this um same pencil brush that I used earlier. And... I'm gonna just swirl in this residue. Okay, so since I had used the same um, brush that I had used the purple with, and then the purple was underneath, it kind of created like this peach mixed with purple tone it's actually very cute like this is cute this is really cute like oh my god like i think i snapped i really think i snapped <laughs> all right so i'm just gonna oh all right so i'm just gonna use the urban k all-nighter spray and bathe in it this spray y'all invest in it just saying invest in it So pretty much, um, I don't remember what lip color she used, but knowing Jackie Aina, when in doubt, peachy nude, but, um, yeah, let me wipe this off, but, um, yeah, I really don't remember what lip color she used, so just to be safe, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna find a peachy nude, just to be safe. Okay, so... To line my lips, I'm gonna use Nikki K's eye pencil in brown. This look kinda peachy. This look kinda peachy. So this is um NYX matte lipstick in the shade Shy. I'm just gonna pop that like right in the center. Mm -mm. No. It's probably still lipstick residue on my lip, but anyway, so I just wiped it off. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go in with this black color. Um, this is Friday by ColourPop, and I'm just gonna see how that looks. This look better. But like, it changed the whole entire look. Cause I'm pretty sure Jack Aina did not do a black lip. If anything, I never really seen her do a black lip. 
Honestly, I've never seen her do a black lip, so. But just for today, we're gonna just do a black lip. All right, so there you have it. This is the final look. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I hope I nailed this look. I hope Jackie Aina sees this and let me know if I failed. Because I don't know what I did. Remember, this is all from memory. <laughs> so, yeah. Pretty much, this is it. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll definitely see you guys in the next one.